Good morning. Morning. I'll ask you just to please confirm your name and date of birth. It's uh, Ralph from Blake, and my birthday is 7 April 1977. Good morning, Ralph. I'm Dr. Swanpool, and I'll be performing a cardiovascular examination on you today. It's going to entail you removing your shirt, and I'm going to be touching your chest. Is that okay with you? It's fine. Excellent, Ralph. You can just remove your shirt. And we've already placed the bed in a 45 degree angle to facilitate the examination. Just looking at Rion, he appears healthy. I don't see any signs of distress or dyspnea. He doesn't have any obvious features of Marfan's, Downs, or Turner syndrome. Rion, I'm looking at your chest. Uh, the chest shape is normal. His AP diameter is normal, so I don't see any skeletal abnormalities. Uh, there's no scars present from previous surgeries. I don't see any distended veins. Um, I don't see evidence of a pacemaker. And uh, there are no obvious pulsations over the valves and apex. I'm going to uh, just feel on your chest now, Rio. So I'm just going to place my hand out. And the first thing I want to feel for is the apex beat. So the apex beat is the most infra-natural beat of the field. There it is. So I'd just like to measure it. So starting at the second intercoastal, third, fourth. Rion's is in the fifth intercoastal, just medial of the midclavicular line, um, which is in a normal position. Then I'd like to feel for thrills. And with the thrills, I'm feeling for thrills over your aortic valve as well as your pulmonary valve, and I do not feel any thrills there. And then over your mitral valve and tricuspid, and once again, there are no thrills there present. Then I'm also just uh, going to feel if there's a parasternal heave, and in Rian's case, uh, there is not. I need to proceed to percussion, and yeah, I just want to have a look at the size of your heart. So I'm just going to, in the anterior axillary line, at the level of the fifth intercoastal space, just percuss for cardiac dullness. And in Brion's case, here's a normal heart size. Then around we're going to have a listen to your chest. And firstly, I just want to feel the carotid pulse again. So the carotid pulse is just so that I can determine uh, where uh, my cardiac cycle system and diastole. And then I'm going to start off by listening to your mitral valve. And first and second heart sounds are present. And I correlate this with your Rotted poles, and I'm also listening for additional sounds which are absent in this case. The mitral valve is also the one valve where I'm going to be listening with both bowel and diaphragm. My bowel picking up more of the pitch sounds. Once again, S1, S2 are present, and there's no additional sounds. I'm also going to listen to my tricuspid valve for the same, over the pulmonary. And aortic valves. And his S1, S2 are present, and I do not hear any additional sounds. Had I heard a murmur, I would have uh, described where it was most intense. I would also mention in which direction it radiated, uh, as well as whether or not it's palpable, and then also the character of that murmur. Rian, I'm going to now ask you just to turn on your side for me, please. And this is known as the left lateral position, which would be the first of our cardiac maneuvers. And while Rion is lying on his side, I'm once again just going to feel his apex beat and then have a listen to his mitral valve. And in this position, it would accentuate any sounds over the mitral valve. And once again, this is normal. Just lie back down. And now I'm going to listen for the carotid and uh, for murmurs. And we 
everyone doesn't have any murmurs. Had I heard a murmur, just remember that uh, in aortic stenosis, the murmur will also radiate to the neck. So if there are no murmurs in the chest, you are yelling. Uh, you're yelling a breed in the neck. You're thinking in terms of coronary uh, stenosis, which he doesn't have. Just sit up straight from the ground. Now I need you to lean forward slightly. This is the second cardiac maneuver. And I'm just going to be listening over the second intercoastal left parasternally for the aortic valve. And I want you to breathe out and hold your breath. And this would accentuate sounds over the aorta, especially that we can go to which she does not have. Okay, Real, I just want you to have a look at your back. And looking at the back, um, once again, there's no skeletal abnormalities, no kyphosis or scoliosis, no uh, scars from previous surgeries present. I'm just going to quickly percuss both sides, and I'm listening for dullness, which would be evident of a pleural effusion, but Rion, his lungs percuss uh, resonant. If you could just put your arms over like that for me. Okay. And then I'm also going to have a listen to his breath sounds. So just breathe deeply in and out, bearing left and right. And Rion has normal air entry with normal vesicular breathing. And here I'm just trying to eliminate fine crepitations, uh, which would lead us to think that there might be pulmonary edema present, but he has normal breath sounds. And then lastly, I'm just going to palpate his sacrum, uh, just to make sure there is no sacral edema. Now, if you can just lie back down. The last parts of my examination, I just want to feel in gastric for pulsations, which there are not. And also, had I felt a pulse over that order, just to make sure there's no evidence of a leak in the result. Real. Uh, in summary, your examination is completely normal. I'm happy with your heart. I do not hear any murmurs. It's of normal size. Your complete examination was uh, normal. So we will be sending you for some additional testing. So thank you very much. You can get dressed.